News at Exclusive. We're almost always online, but veterans at the West Haven VA Hospital can't be when they're in their rooms. Good evening. I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Scott McDonald. One patient saying this limited access makes it tough for them to get all the help that they need. And as News 8's Jackie Slater tells us, he and a Connecticut senator are now looking for change. Elliot Storm, a Marine Corps vet with two Purple Hearts who served in Vietnam in the late 60s. Now he's battling leukemia at the VA hospital in West Haven and taking on a fight for other patients as well. Most of these guys have no support and it broke my heart. I mean, truly broke my heart. One day into his month-long stay at the hospital, Storm found out there's no internet connection available in any of the patient rooms. Unable to have visitors due to his condition, we spoke with him on the phone earlier today. Storm says no Wi-Fi is a technological setback towards recovery. Would it be marvelous if they could go online, go online, go to their site where they were in the service, start tapping into friends, talking to them, communicating with people they knew in school. Two weeks ago, Storm contacted Senator Richard Blumenthal to bring attention to the problem. I was astonished and appalled that there is no Wi-Fi service in the individual rooms, only in the community common area. Blumenthal says he's reached out to administration at the hospital. They say it's all about funding. VA hospitals in Boston and Northampton installed Wi-Fi at a cost of $300 to $500,000. In a statement to News 8, the VA said, quote, Thanks to the efforts of this patient, we will put out a request to get an estimate for Wi-Fi installation, maintenance, support, connection, and help desk. Blumenthal is taking this battle to Washington, hoping to secure funding. Pharmaceutical drug and therapeutic treatment may be important, but so is the psychological connection to the outside world that comes from Wi-Fi service. For Storm, the journey to good health has been aided by a personal hotspot used to keep in touch with family and friends. It's an amenity he feels many here can't afford. I go online and we face our, uh, what is it called, Skype, and FaceTime with each other. So I'm seeing them. Well, these folks can't do that, you know, and uh, again, if you looked, it'd break your heart. Reporting in West Haven, Jackie Slater, News 8.